Good evening. The purpose of today's presentation is to outline how subject choice can have potential implications in the context of entry into third level. The vast majority of our students that complete the Leaving Cert in a given year apply through the CAO system in Ireland and move on into third level. When your son is applying in sixth year through the CAO system, the CAO and the relevant colleges look at three respective and related criteria when deciding who to make offers to. So the first thing that they always look at is called matriculation requirements, which in simple terms is the basic subjects and grades that your son needs to hit in order to be considered as a potential applicant into the college. So for example, if your son wished to, wishes to apply to an NUI college such, such as UCD, a gen, the general matriculation requirement there will be two H5s, four ordinary sixes to pass Irish, English and a foreign language unless they're exempt. And it's only when they meet that criteria that they move on to the second criteria, which is specific subject requirements. Now, some courses will have specific subject requirements. So if we go back to the example of UCD, your son will say in this has met the matriculation requirements and he's applied for engineering. Engineering will have a specific subject requirement of, H, of a H4. Your son will need to hit that in order for the final criteria to be looked at, which is points. Generally speaking, once your son uh, meets the specific requirements and the matriculation requirements, his six best subjects will then be counted for points. And in terms of the Leaving Cert point system, we have a H1 to a H8 for honour subjects and, and an O1 to an O8 for ordinary level subjects. A H1 is where is 90 to 100 percent, and that's 100 points. A H2 is uh, 80 to 90, and that's worth, worth 88 and so on. And all subjects are offer the same potential in terms of acquiring points in, in, uh, as your son tries to move into, into third level, with the exception of honours maths. Honours maths, there's a bonus of 25 points awarded to every grade from a H6 to a H1. So if your son attains a H1, for example, in honours maths, instead of being offered 100 points, they'll be offered 125. If your son attained a, a H2 in honours maths, instead of being awarded, and 88 points, they'll be awarded 113 and so on. Within the CAO system, there are three types of qualifications available. And the easiest way to understand the qualifications is maybe just a picture to visualize a, a, a ladder. And every step on the ladder is like a higher uh, or superior qualification. So the bottom step on the ladder in terms of the CAO system is a level six higher certificate. That's a two year qualification. The middle step on the ladder is a level seven three or ordinary degree. And the top step on the ladder is a level eight honours degree. So the vast majority of colleges in the CAO system can be divided into two broad categories. The older traditional universities of which there are seven. So the four NUI colleges, Maynooth, UCD, Cork, Galway, and then also DCU, Trinity and Limerick, they only generally have level eight qualifications. Most of the other colleges in the system fall within the category of being a technical university or the Institute of Technologies. They generally will have level six, level seven and level eight available. Now the purpose behind level six and seven within the technical universities or the Institutes of Technology is if your son did not attain the requirements or the points to move into a level eight qual qualification within those respective colleges, they could potentially start at level six or seven and work up the ladder. So for example, your son may wish to apply to engineering in TUD in Dublin and they don't attain the points for level eight, they could start at level six or seven and work their way up through the system. And once they pass and attain the relevant grades, they can move on, onwards and upwards towards the level eight over that period of time. Leaving certificate subjects can be divided into two broad groups. The first grouping core subjects, which include English, maths, Irish, and, for, and a foreign language. They are core or compulsory subjects unless your son is exempt for a particular reason. The other group of subjects are optional subjects where your son has a choice or a decision to make. We will now look at individual subjects and where they may be required for entry into third level. The first subject we'll, we'll look at is English and English is part of the core group. Um, in terms of honours English, it's areas related to kind of media, journalism and communications. Areas such as speech and language therapy, English literature and the likes of Trinity, for example, would require honours English in the Leaving Certificate. In terms of passing English at either higher or ordinary level, it's the seven 
uh, traditional universities or older universities. And again, they're the four NUI colleges, Maynooth, UCD, Cork and Galway, Trinity, DCU and Limerick. They require uh, your son to pass English at either higher or ordinary level as a matriculation requirement in order to gain entry. Honours Irish is a requirement for national school teaching, pure Irish degrees and a degree that might have an Irish component such as Irish in business, Irish in law, Irish in media, Irish in journalism. It's also a requirement to pass Irish at either higher or ordinary level in order to gain entry to any of the four NUI colleges, again, which is Maynooth, UCD, Cork and Galway, unless your son has an official exemption from the language. Honours Maths is required for some courses within the CAO system. Uh, one of the main areas would, would be engineering. All level eight engineering qualifications and third level require Honours Maths. A handful of business courses so, such as actuary and, econ and economics and finance in UCD would require Honours Maths. Some computer science courses such as in Trinity would require Honours Maths. Courses like data science, theoretical physics and so on would require Honours Maths in the Leaving Certificate. It's imperative that your son passes mathematics with a leaving cert, whether he's sitting at, at higher or ordinary level. Failing maths at, a, at either higher or ordinary level will result in him being excluded from the vast majority of courses within the CAO system. So all courses in institutes of technology, technical universities, Trinity College Dublin, DCU and Limerick work require your son to pass maths at either higher or ordinary level. A modern foreign language is a core subject. Students typically pick from French, German and Spanish. In terms of where an honours grade in, in, in a modern foreign language is required at third level, it's typically courses where you'd be studying the pure language, pure French, German or Spanish, or where a language is integrated into the qualification. And they would typically be courses like business and a language, law and a language, computing science and a language, and some qualifications such as engineering and a language. Some degree qualifications within the, the four NUI colleges, again, the NUI colleges are Maynooth, UCD, Cork and Galway, require your son to pass a modern foreign language at either higher or ordinary level in the Leaving Certificate. We now come to the optional subjects, and this is where your son will have to make a choice. And the first category of optional subjects are the sciences, and within Castlenock we typically offer four science subjects agricultural science, biology, chemistry, and physics. There are some colleges in third level, a handful that will require two science subjects, some courses in Trinity, such as physio, dental science, medicine, human health and disease, and so on, will require two sciences. There's some co courses also in Cork, and the five-year medical program in Galway and the Royal College of Surgeons will typically require two science subjects in order to gain entry. An honours grade in a science subject is typically required for the uh, health science courses, general science, industrial science courses, many physics courses would, would require an honours grade as well. Science subjects would also be required for other disciplines, some PE courses particularly where there's maybe a science subject integrated into the teaching component, sports science, athletic therapy, agricultural science and so on. Some of those qualifications would require science in the Leaving Certificate. Biology is an essential requirement for the three courses or qualifications mentioned on the slide. Also, if, you, if your son is considering beyond the Leaving Cert potentially applying to health sciences, particularly the likes of medicine in the UK, most medical colleges in the UK will require both biology and chemistry as a minimum within the Leaving Certificate. Some may require even further level of sciences beyond that. Chemistry is required for areas such as veterinary, dentistry, pharmacy, human nutrition, and medicine in many colleges. In a given year, there are typically 1,100 courses, either side of 1,100 courses within the CAO system. The vast majority of those accept agricultural science as a lab science subject. There is a handful of courses where it's, it's not accepted. Some courses in colleges in terms of medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, and optometry do not regard it as a lab science subject, but it's important to emphasize again 
that 99.9% .9 of qualifications and courses in the CAO recognise it as a science subject in terms of entry, but also in terms of the ability to accumulate points. Physics is essential for theoretical physics in Trinity College Dublin, but it is also exceptionally useful for qualifications such as engineering and computer science and many others, and it acts as really good preparation in advance of moving into those sort of degrees and the material that you your son would have to face in those types of qualifications. There are more business qualifications within the CAO system than any other type of course. And within all of those business qualifications, there is currently only one where, which makes a business subject compulsory, and that will be an accounting course in, in, in Galway requires even sort of accounting. Having said that, if your son is considering moving it potentially into any business qualification beyond secondary school in, in third level, obviously moving into, into any of those without having completed one or more business subjects, you're, he's not going to be exceptionally well prepared because much of many much of the material that you'll see within the, the, the three business subjects, he will face elements of that if he goes on and moves into any business qualification in third level. History and geography are not compulsory in order to gain entry into any qualification within the CAO system, but they still offer the, the same potential in terms of points. So a H1 in history and geography is worth 100 points in the same way that a H1 is in chemistry or a H1 in English. But they also provide the opportunity of this development of transferable skills that, are that could be used in a wide, wide range of qualifications in third level. Leaving certificate music is required for two qualifications within the CAO system. If, uh, if your son wish to wishes to pursue uh, religious education and music in DCU or music through the arts qualification in Maynooth. Having said that, the vast majority of other music qualifications, there is usually a performance um, attached to it, which has to be completed and sat normally around uh, March, April time of sixth year. And obviously trying to be at the standard required for that performance without having taken Leave Insert Music is going to be problematic. Leaving Certificate Art is not a requirement for any particular qualification, but the vast majority of art and design courses require portfolios and they're generally submitted around again February, March of sixth year. And again, for your son to have that portfolio up to the standard required without pursuing Leave Insert Art is going to be very exceptionally difficult, almost impossible. And again, DCG is not um, compulsory for entry into any particular qualification, but it's exceptionally useful for areas like architecture, product design, and um, engineering, architectural technology. To conclude some advice, while this presentation has focused primarily on where Leave Insert subjects might be required in, in order to gain entry to particular qualifications or colleges at third level, there are other factors that have to be reflected upon too. So for, first and foremost, your son needs to reflect upon his strengths and his interests. And primarily in that context, to reflect back on his first three years here up to junior cert level. In terms of optional subjects, what subjects did he like? What did he enjoy? Where did he excel? What came naturally to, to, to him? Because ultimately, trends are likely to continue. So if he had a flair for a particular optional subject at junior cert level, that's likely to be the case for senior cycle also. Likewise, the opposite is true. If an optional subject was a bit of a struggle, it's quite likely that it, it, it would be problematic again as, as, as he moves into senior cycle. I suppose, in terms of 
optional subjects, you also have to consider how can I leave particular options open. But that's only relevant in the context of college and careers if there is a genuine interest in the material that you'll have to study beyond secondary school. So for example, we, as you've seen from the presentation, honours chemistry is needed for, for veterinary. So we always have to ask ourselves, and that's just an, exa an example in this scenario, but we always have to ask ourselves, you know, why is a subject needed in third level? So in that scenario, the reason chemistry is needed is <clears throat> there's quite a lot of biochemistry and chemistry covered within the course. So <clears throat> the student needs to take a step back and reflect upon the junior search. Did I actually like the chemistry component of junior search science? What does that tell me about the likelihood of me enjoying or not enjoying chemistry? in fifth and sixth year and if i did attain the points and requirements for veterinary how enjoyable would the qualification be with that with that level of chemistry or biochemistry so it's about an honest reflection in terms of where your son has been at the, academically up to junior cert level what that might say in terms of his level of interest for optional subjects for fifth and sixth year and what it might picture it might paint beyond that as well um so just i suppose also to not to pick a subject because your, your son may have heard that it's easy. What's easy to one person is difficult to another and it really depends on the individual and their, their work ethic and their aptitude as well. So the, this is presentation is a synopsis of the main ideas and it's important like before you make any decision to scrape beyond the surface and for to do some research. So I would suggest like I would have over the, the phone appointments and when I met your sons in, individually in the context of that as well two particular websites um, called Qualifax and Careers Portal. So to look at those from the point of view of analysing, starting to analyse particular qualifications and they will cover entry requirements and what subjects will be needed or not. But also Careers Portal would provide an array of information in terms of leave, leave and search subjects and what might be covered in them. So it's important to do that element of research. So the optional subjects, it's about making a balanced decision between where I might need a subject to gain entry into a particular course, and, but also will I enjoy that subject? Am I likely to excel in it? Will I get the grade? Because I suppose to finish up, whatever way we dress up a Leaving Cert, unfortunately there is an element attached to it where it's a national competition and we're competing on a given year maybe against either side of 60,000 students. It, but we're also ultimately competing against ourselves as a student in order to be the best that we can be. So the optional subjects, it's about trying to strike that balance between where can I achieve and potentially get points and how can I leave options open.